Once upon a time, there was this boy named Jimmy. Now, Jimmy used to be the picture of perfect health. He could run like the wind. He could jump. He could do some the most fascinating jump kicks in the air. One day, a long time ago, his muscles been getting hurt. And there was nothing he could do. The more he exercised and he did it the right way, the more his muscles ached and groaned. He, if he stopped exercising, he can. He decided to stop exercising for three weeks, and his muscles. He finally decided, hey, my muscles feel better. They've rested. I can exercise. Well, he started exercising. He got away with it for about a week. But those muscle pains were only sleeping. And they were woke with a vengeance. Well, he said, he went to his family doctor and underwent a battery of tests. Hell, they even gave him, gave him a sitz bath, telling him it was a prostate infection or what? What is that? An infection? Urinary tract infection? For fuck's sake! It was his muscles hurting. His groin was hurting, aching. A burning sensation on the right side of his groin. He had his gallbladder taken out. He was given steroids. Nothing seemed to work. Well, he sent a, started emailing the Dr. Oz show, the Oprah show, Dr. Phil. They never so much as even sent him, we received your message letter. All in all, he was still a, basically a happy person because he had his trails in the woods. Now these woods were real special to this guy. His name is Jimmy. Because all through his childhood he used to run through these woods with his friends, with his cousins. He had a shitload of memories, good memories, of being in these woods on beautiful sunny days. Picnicking with his friends in these woods. Hell, he, melts, he even made some trails in these woods. These trails were over a mile long and wide enough to drive two cars through. And he felt these trails were... One of his greatest sense of accomplishment. He even took his grandma back to show her these trails. Beaming with pride and his grandma was truly impressed. He, she, she had quite the green thumb too. He began growing vines. Buying stuff so that the vines, great vines, could wrap around and grow. He grew food back there. Oh my God! On the sunny days, back the, on these trails, the way the sunlight danced through the trees on wind, windy afternoons, and seemed to dance on his trails. Afternoon sunlight. But there came a day. When the Department of Transportation, greedy, using the law of eminent domain, you see at the end of these trails, there was this old country church. Many Sundays, he walked these trails to this old country church and joined the service. He remembered homecoming dinners 
at this church getting a plate full of food and walking the trails while eating it but the Department of Transportation and the Global Transport wanted to build a four lane highway and instead of building it a hundred feet further to the north like circumcising a penis cutting off the tip of the penis they cut they cut down the woods the church and he was visiting the church one last time when the Department of Transportation came and the big burly white man told him get out of here you don't belong in this property why well, have you arrested well the church was gone but he still had the trails until one day all he needed was a lot of money so he could buy the these trails but no one was listening to his rap songs which were really good because he didn't look good nobody listened to him and gave him a chance well today the woods have been demolished and he feels his childhood memories have, have died his childhood has died when he was riding a bike home he rode past a school bus full of high school girls and instead of looking at him and commenting to more than another he's fine they looked at him and were laughing at him because he looked like a retard you see all he wanted to do was be an attractive guy a good looking guy to the, girl, to the girls he was a virgin still and now the chronic muscle pains took a turn for the worse he begins feeling dizzy day in and day out was finally able to talk to doctors into giving him Xanax which controlled it everybody told him he was not dying but he felt like he was dying what did this kid have to live for nothing so this kid study got smart and became a professional he put his videos on YouTube but YouTube terminated his channel for no reason well he learned how to make plastic, plastic explosives like that looked like bubble gum that had been chewed. Well, he went to the, the Department of Transportation one night, cloaked from head to toe in black, and planted a few plastic explosives. Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> Man, when you read in the news the story that the Department of Transportation building had been blown up he felt a sense of satisfaction this kid then went to the people who owned the woods who sold out to the loggers he planted plastic, plastic explosives in their buildings at night boom 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 he was filled with a sense of satisfaction satisfac satisfac that almost made it him forget about his chronic pain it's almost they were still there he still felt dizzy he kept emailing Dr. Oz but nobody would listen nobody gave a damn the doctors couldn't help him he, he'd been to hundreds of doctors no one, to, no one could help him they all dismissed him as a hypochondriac well he figured the global trash park is to blame for my woods being torn down. So, Spirit Enterprises and all the buildings that were being built up for the global trash park 
every one of them boom 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 every one of them level to the fucking ground he knew that they would be rebuilt but he had a sense of satisfaction he was forcing the city to spend perhaps millions of dollars needlessly that they could 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 have used it for something else <laughs> Maybe he could bank bank but rock the city of Kinston. Nah, but he could come as close as possible to doing so. Nightclubs in Greenville kept kicking him kicking him out because he looked like a retard. As I was saying, boom, 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 boom. Every goddamn one of those nightclubs, except the one of who. Who treated him with dignity, leveled to the fucking ground. He found out with the owners of these nightclubs, the ones who used to kick him around like a wet, wet dog, stray dog, redheaded stepchild, and the bouncers. He found out the names. You see, he grew. He he knew how to be smart, and he went to the own their homes. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. You see, this guy was so smart. He had found a new purpose to live. Society had cut away his roots, but the tree was reaching for the sky because the tree refused to die, although it felt like it was dying. He wanted to hire Harper Studios. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Well, one day he was reading in a paper where Oprah Winfrey died. And he was rejoicing until he woke up and it was all a dream. Damn, he said to himself. That cunt ignored me. Damn. Still feeling dizzy, but feeling a sense of self-worth, fulfillment, satisfaction, satisfaction that at least, although he didn't have his roots anymore, he made them pay big time. And the federal FBI the law enforcement they were utterly frustrated because they could never catch this serial bomber they thought Theodore Ted Kaczynski the Unabomber was bad <laughs> <laughs> you see Jimmy his heroes were Pablo Escobar John Gotti and Aaron Brockovich as portrayed by Julia Roberts. You see, if he had been John Gotti, he would be, he would have had enough money and clout to buy the woods before they had been torn down and to can pay off the, the state of North Carolina to move the four lane highway a hundred feet further north and thus save the church. He would have had enough money to get cosmetic surgery. To be a good looking guy to have the longer arms he wanted so that the girls would notice him as being a good looking guy. But since he didn't couldn't have get get that, he had to settle for the consolation prize. Well hey hey People died because this kid, Jimmy, was ignored by society. Now what you think of my motherfucking story? I'm not going to do anything, but hey, it makes me feel happy to tell a story about it, because you all goddamn motherfuckers won't get me on Dr. Fucking Oz, so I can, yo, I can't get views on my YouTube videos, I can't get some to listen to my rap songs, so I can get a fair chance at being rejected by the music business. I'm not a good looking guy, I can't get the cosmetic surgeries. And I'm getting sicker and sicker. And one day I'll be not a good candidate to get the cosmetic surgeries. Damn. 
What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just kill myself? So you can all laugh at me? God fucking damn it. You cut, cut off on me and get a camera, I'm gonna break you. So he figured he'd take it, take control of the scene like one of his, his rap songs, reach out and grab it, take control of the scene. He took a tour of YouTube. He found out the day when his channel got terminated, who was working, and waited for a day when the same people were working. He went on tour of YouTube's headquarters in San Bruno. And he took his plastic explosives, put them all over the place. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. As the bomb exploded, and as the YouTube's ivory towers came crumbling down upon him, he realized, hey, I'm finally cured of my pains. I had to die. I had to kill my body to make it stop hurting, but hey, I'm pain free. As in spirit form, he arose from the from the ashes, like the phoenix, and he flew off into outer space. Or was it hell? What was his blackness? Outer space and the stars, or was it hell? And demon entities coming to torment him. It didn't matter. He was in hell because he never got to be a good looking guy. He never got to tell everybody what really mattered most to him. He never got to perpetuate himself. And all that he loved had been destroyed. So he destroyed all that he hated with himself.